All right, guys. Uh, Sunday morning coffee. Uh, that is actually Sunday morning. Yeah, we've been trying to keep it as regular as possible, but with everything going on and and external things happening, uh, sometimes it's just not possible. But like I said last week, um, no matter what, I'm going to take 5, 10, 15 minutes out and do something uh, just so you guys know where we're at. Because uh, I do think that's very important. Uh, speaking of where we're at, we uh, wait, wait. On. So, oh, what do you want to start with? You want to start with the fun stuff, get into serious, or do you want to start with serious, get into the fun? Um, let Let's talk about uh, the fundraiser we're having. I think it's really so important. serious. Yeah, yeah. So you want to go serious first? Yeah. <laughs> All right, um, these guys have seen in the videos, uh, we do a lot of crawling in winter, spring, that kind of thing, uh, just because bashers, you know, as fun as they are, uh, and yeah, you can use them in winter, um, just means a lot of maintenance on them, and uh, someone doesn't like doing maintenance, so I get stuck doing them, uh, so I prefer not to, uh, the advantage there is she doesn't play outside in the winter, so it's not so bad. All I really got to do is maintain my crawlers. Uh, but anyway, I digress. Um, crawling for the last two months. I've uh, been crawling with a, a group of guys. And it uh, turns out one of them is Ukrainian. And uh, his family is having trouble over there, uh, escaping from wherever they are and uh, getting the safer ground. The only issue is, is uh, getting the safer ground means they had to leave everything behind. Now, I'm not usually the person to jump on something just because it's there or whatever like that. Um, but this one touched home. When, when, when it's one of your buddies and unfathomable, unfathomable conditions over there uh, he in turn is basically turning around, selling everything and anything he can to, to supply his family with some form of means of having a place to stay, having some food, um, just basic living. So here at Viper RC, uh, we, we made the decision that we're actually going to do a fundraiser for him. Um, so that the guy doesn't have to lose everything. Like he came to Canada to, for a better life and, and now he's giving it up because his family's in turmoil and I just want to help him and his family out. So April 3rd, guys, we have a fundraiser going for him. And uh, I want to thank Extreme Hobbies. I want to thank Ideal Hobbies. I want to thank Hawk Express. I want to thank uh, filthy fills, filthy's underground. Uh, there is a few more coming. Uh, I believe Bracebridge Source for Sports has got a, a package getting ready for us. Um, so the details really are. So for five bucks, that's all the entry fee is five bucks. Come out, have a good time, and that's going to put your name into the draw. And <clears throat> sorry, good morning coffee. I haven't had enough yet. <laughs> That'll get your name into the draw, and we have the prizes back here. Uh, yeah, like I, I couldn't believe it. Um, so we'll start with the, the 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 smaller one first, which is the Filthies Custom T-shirt. Beautiful T-shirt uh, done by VIPRC uh, Customs, which is right here. I was gonna say they really are really nice. Um, beautiful, beautiful shirts. The colors the color. just pop. It's 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 nice. <laughs> I, uh, she's printing me one or two. <laughs> uh, next, we'll start with the little guy, which is the 28. And this one here was donated by Hawk Express. And it's a nice little truggy, you know, for indoor rainy days or 
you got a little guy at home that's you know keeps wanting to play with your truck perfect for sure perfect for him. um next up we've got the uh this one is what i'm going to consider as the big prize just simply cool. because it is a crawler event and when a crawler comes out we always want crawler stuff well i gotta really thank heather gordon for this one at extreme make sure i'm holding the card right um i walked in there i asked her and she walked over to a wall and grabbed this one now me personally i love this little truck I want one for my backyard. I want one for in the house. I want one just to play. Like, I, I drove, what, two hours with this thing in the back seat going, man, I've never had something in the back seat that I want so bad that I can't have. <laughs> so, anyway, this is what I would consider the big prize. Again, thank you, Heather, immensely. Uh, that's going to be the amazing. one. Amazing. Yeah. Just amazing. And then, of course, next up, we've got... You know, friends down at Ideal. Yeah, they decided they were going to throw in a low C 2.0. Yeah, the Mini T 2.0. This thing is incredible as well, guys. Uh, I've, I've seen quite a few guys run these little things. Uh, we used to run Dramatas all the time <clears throat> and uh, Latrax type stuff. And this thing here would kill them. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Like, as good as Traxxas is with their small vehicles and as good as Dromeda was with their vehicles, Losi, and it is Losi, these guys kill it with these little guys. Um, but these are also inspired off of race heritage from their 110 scale, blah, blah, blah. But thank you, Ideal. Uh, Marcus, you're the man. Thank you very much. And they'll be coming out to the event, too, I guess. Uh, yeah, I do believe he's going to try and get at least one employee out there so that he's got some representation. Um, <clears throat> along with that, we're going to do some of our own stuff uh, as giveaways. Uh, if you've been on the trails with me or have seen any of the videos, you know our toe straps. Actually, it's the only way toe straps are meant to be sold. <laughs> so, uh, we will be giving probably a set or two of these away at the event. Um, a set or two of the oh shit handles. Uh, maybe three or four because they are fairly easy. Plus, I am going, these are one six scale right now. Uh, we're actually in the process of dumbing them down to a one tenth scale size. Uh, toe straps are going to stay the same because realistically one tenth or one sixth you can use these toe straps and it will still look scale. It'll just look like you got a huge strap on one tenth. That's all. <laughs> uh, what else do we have? Um, the Jeep top, she's still perfecting that. We, we don't want to put out a commercial or a video until they're the way we want them. And that is one of the biggest I'm really things. Picky. Well, and that, that is one of the biggest things is a um, bit of perfectionist over here. And uh, she won't let it get released until it's it's perfect. So The other thing, too, is um, VIP RC Custom Prince, which is on Facebook, is going to be donating a custom shirt to... The winner? Yeah. To so, a winner? Yes. So it won't be done shirt. It'll just be... A so whatever, <coughs> whatever somebody wants to have on it. And remember, guys, um, I love my photography. Uh, I wouldn't have got a DJI Mavic Air 2 if I didn't. Um, so I will be on that day snapping pictures of everybody's trucks, catching some nice trail runs, some hard lines, because we're going to be setting up a course. Uh, yeah, I guess didn't even really talk about that. Um there will be a full-blown course uh we're hoping <laughs> keep in mind guys this is our first time we're trying to do this not for just the sake of doing it uh, so it means a little more uh, and we are going to go out with flags and try and set up a course properly um the yeah. Viper crew will not be running that day just simply because we're going to be marshalling and checking, you know, making sure everything's proper. Yeah. 
and the other thing too is we kind of wanted to get it done as quick as possible so we could get you know as much as we can raised for our friend absolutely so it's it's not you know the best course but it'll be a fun day and it's for a really good cause and keep in mind um anybody who knows me dave and brad when we go out we are the creek bed crawlers we love ramaging through a, a, a creek the only problem is this time of year water's high mm -hmm. so we can't even get in the creek right now because you're looking at about a foot foot and a half of water okay so that will be an avoidance uh which kind of a hindrance but there is plenty of spots down there we are going down the day before we're going to set up logs in certain spots, rocks, kind of just move stuff around, you know, down trees. We're going to use them to our advantage, um, that kind of thing. So we are going to try and make it as nice as we can, I guess we'll say. Yeah, it is a tough time of year, but... Yeah, so realistically though, um, I don't even care if you got a four-wheel drive slash. I don't care if you got a four-wheel drive stampede. Hell, I don't even care if you don't have a rake. Come out, help us out, guys. Support this. This is something that shouldn't be happening to anybody, and it's happening to one of our friends. So, this has been a bit of a heartfelt Sunday morning coffee. But by any Jesus, guys. Let's get out there. Let, let's help him out. I've got the hobby shops on board. Viper RC's on board. Let's get everybody else out here. And, it, you know, too, if, it, if they can't make it out, you know, oh. we can still do the five bucks, put their name in for the draw. Absolutely. That's fine, too. Um, yeah, if you can't make it, let us know. Uh, we Hit can, us up on Facebook. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we'll give you the e-transfer, and we'll put your name straight down on a ticket, and you have a chance. So I guess this is almost like a waffle. Yeah, sure. As the same time as a fundraiser. <laughs> That's probably the best way to put it. Yeah. All right, guys. So this has been a Sunday morning. Uh, I know we kind of went into the mopiness of it, but that's the scenario that we're in. So... Uh, Sunday morning coffee. Always a great coffee with you. Aw, thanks. All right, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. As for me, I'm going for a trail run. Uh, I'm going to so cheap talk. <laughs> See you guys next week. <laughs> Have a good one, guys.